You know, the number one rule of political or watchdog reporting is follow the money. John Adams here. I covered the legislature for the Great Falls Tribune. A source of mine had come across something that I might be interested in. Voters in your district had never seen something. Not, no, no, this was a whole new political attack. They send out all these mailings. They don't care if they lie. Nobody knows who they are. They call them dark money groups, and that's exactly what they are. Corporation funnels money to a dark money group. They send out postcards attacking the opponent. When that candidate gets elected, they support the agenda of the corporation. I don't know how to fight them. I can't pick up the phone and say, hey, what's your interest in candidate X? Because I don't know who they are. And it's not just Montana. Campaign finance is the gateway to every other issue that you might care about. Americans are barraged by these political advertisements that are funded by who knows whom. We don't even know if they're domestic. Politics is just child's play to business. They know how to manipulate the system. You can buy the politicians, you can buy the judges. When I first got to the FEC, I thought that we would work together on issues such as disclosure. If they fails three to three, motion fails three to three, that fails three to three. The FEC will not enforce the law. New allegations in court against a leading legislator. What's at stake is whether or not Art Wittick broke Montana campaign finance laws. Do we care enough to demand that politicians comply with our campaign laws? The bottom line is, did Wittick know that he was receiving all of these services? I'm going to call it like I see it. This man cheated. The people who want to keep dark money have a real problem. The public does not agree with them. They want a government that works for them. It doesn't work for special interests, doesn't work for political parties, it works for them. This is scary stuff. But I think this is the proving ground now for the American experiment.